In what sounds like the beginning of the end of the human race, researchers have used artificial intelligence to build the world's first robot-animal hybrids. CTV science and technology specialist Dan Riskin is here to explain. I thought it was going to be the apes uprising that were going to take us down, but no. now apparently it's robot, mini micro-robot animals made out of frog DNA? Well, okay, so you make, okay, the robots are made out of frog cells. Sure. So, it doesn't look like a frog, but every one of the, if you took a microscope and looked at any one of those cells that's in that glob there, uh -huh. it's a frog cell. Sure. It's got frog DNA, frog cytoplasm, it's frog. And what they do is they take these individual frog cells and they build them into a robot. And there are two kinds of cells. One is skin cells and one is heart cells. Okay. Heart cells contract by themselves. Yep. And so this robot that's made contracts in a weird way and as a result of that can move across a petri dish. Okay. Uh, look, I'm just going to speak for everybody out there who is fearing for the end of the world. Right. Um, I read in a newspaper, they said, don't worry, these things can't evolve. Now, in my experience watching movies, when you say something can't evolve, it evolves. Right, right. We've all, we all know the Jurassic Park conundrum. Yeah, yeah. Um, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. So this, one thing about this technology, and I think maybe even scarier than the fact that it's a robot made out of cells, yeah. is that it wasn't designed by a human. It was designed by a computer. It's getting, it's getting even better. So the computer said, they said to the computer. So the computer's telling us not to worry. Right. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, don't worry okay. about that. So the computer, those are the cells there having their DNA taken. Actually, yeah. those are frog eggs. Yes. And they're being opened up to take the uh, cells out that are going to then be built wow. into okay. uh, robots. But basically, a computer designs what the robot should be built like. It picks where the cells go, yes. and it uses an artificial intelligence engine to do that. It makes a virtual petri dish mm -hmm. and says, if I build it like this, how would it move? Gotcha. Yeah, like that. And it does this over and over and over and over and over until it comes up with a really great design, and then it says to the humans, build this one that I designed. The humans build it, and then it moves across the petri okay, dish. Okay, so, so that's what it can do now. What are the potential future applications for this? Here's why this is really exciting. Yeah. I could, let's say you had clogged arteries. God mm -hmm. forbid, I hope you're very healthy for a long time, and all that stuff, but if you did, instead of sending in a tube or sending in a robot made of metal, how about I take a bunch of your cells, Okay. I make a robot out of them, and then I put that robot into your blood cell. Well, like millions of these little things. Well, even like five, I don't oh, know. Really, but yeah? Put a couple in there, and then it's your cells. So your body is not going to reject it. It's going to go in, it's going to do the work it's it needs to do. It's going to scrub the arteries clean. Scrub the arteries clean, or whatever it's built to do by yeah. the artificial intelligence engine, and then when it's finished, it's just going to die, because they're just just your cells, and then your body's going to get rid of them, and so it's completely biodegradable, and nothing could possibly go wrong. Nothing could possibly. <laughs> and by the way, I, I listen. I do appreciate that not all science turns into Jurassic Park. Um, okay, so when you say or whatever else it could do, right? Give me a blue sky, this for me. Well, what are some other possibilities? You know what? I think a lot of the possibilities we can't even imagine. That might be a question for the artificial intelligence. One neat thing that emerged from this is that they built them to move around, but when they put a bunch of them together in a petri dish, they started to move together. They started to interact. They started spinning around each other. Or when they put particles of stuff in the Petri dish, they started to bunch that stuff up and make a little pile out of it. Things that they hadn't been designed to do that they did as emergent properties. So there are going to be surprises in terms of what they can do. The other surprise surprises. is you take one of these cells. Always fun. You cut it. They heal because they're they're animal cells. So they can't be killed. So yeah, that's what, that's one way to interpret that. I think you could kill them, but yeah. when you cut them, they do heal. And yeah. so there are surprises, and there's a lot of potential. I'm just kidding. This is very very exciting stuff. It might also, you might be right though. It could be very scary, but it's also very good. Come on, that's Dan, the I best. Trying, I was trying to end on a good note. Hey, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more your morning videos right here.